OpenAI's new model, GPT-5, is just around the corner. Rumors have it coming out in July, but there are kind of two different paths we could go depending on what it is and what we get. Let's dive into them. To recap the GPT-5 rumors, Tibor, who is a very well-known inside source on X, says that July is the date. Someone else recently wondered how long it had been since we had gotten an update on O3 Pro. Sam Altman replied to this guy that it was going to be a little bit more time to wait. There have been a number of other, let's just call them unsubstantiated rumors rumors out there that GPT-5 is exceeding expectations and that there is a leap here. And I want to talk really quickly about the two different pathways we could go, because what's interesting about GPT-5 is that it will kind of sit at a very critical moment in the AI conversation. If you haven't been following very closely, the reasoning models have gotten very good. O3, obviously, but Gemini 2.5 Pro is remarkable. Claude Opus 4 and Claude Sonnet 4 just came out. Both of those have reasoning baked in. So one specific path down the road here is if the open AI really surprises people and GPT-5 is a leap into a whole different world. There are some reasons why that could be possible. I mean, OpenAI has had a tendency to kind of show their cards first. And we may just have seen with Opus 4 and Sonnet 4 kind of the end of one cycle of models. The other thing that's probably going to happen with OpenAI's new model is going to be fully multimodal and it probably will involve Sora too. Although I will say VO3 with audio is so good that it's possible that Sora 2 might be leaning back a little bit until they can deliver something incredible. But if GPT-5 comes out in July, and it is very, very good, and it is a leap past what we have seen so far, then the pathway we go, I think, is in full acceleration mode. We are going to find ourselves where like every conversation will be about AI. You'll hear governments talking about it all the time. You will hear bosses and employees talking about it all the time. Because if GPT-5 comes out and it is a leap, that proves that we still have a very steep curve when it comes to these reasoning models, because right now they are improving quickly. Now, on the other hand, if GPT-5 GPT-5 comes out in July, as rumored, and it is not a massive leap. If it is a, you know, even if it's an incremental leap, I think we're going to see a different sort of conversation in the world. I think you're going to see a lot of the AI kind of haters come out and say, see, it's not able to do this stuff yet. AI is not going to go into what many have referred to in the past as like a cold winter where nobody works on it. There's already too much money deployed and it is showing improvements. But I think if GPT-5 isn't a significant leap over what we have right now, you will probably see a slower progression. From a narrative standpoint, G GPT-5 kind of is the turning point for how much of our world will be based on or talking about AI versus not.